In Money Watch, the Safari Club International Convention is back in Reno this week. The annual event is expected to generate more than $21 million in economic impact. Paul Nelson joins us live at the Reno Sparks Convention Center. And Paul, what are people saying about this event's return? Well, from what we've heard from everyone we've talked to, they're happy to be back, Kristen, and you can bet the businesses around town are happy they're back, too. This is the biggest hunting convention in the world, and it left Reno six years ago to head down to Las Vegas. Now it's back for the next three years, and that's good news for the local economy. Whether you're looking for the latest in rifles, shotguns, or other outdoor equipment, the Safari Club International Convention might be the place for you. Vendors and outfitters from more than 100 countries are in Reno for this four-day event. The main reason it's back is because the airport has added more flights in and out of Reno. So it's been our home for so long, and a lot of other exhibitors and members prefer Reno. So it was an easy decision. We had the opportunity to come back to, to come back to Reno. Hunters can come here to buy hunting and fishing trips all over the world. The cost can range from a few thousand bucks to more than a hundred thousand. The SCI is a hunter's advocacy group and its foundation focuses on conservation and education. It started back in the early 1900s with Theodore Roosevelt and the North American conservation movement uh, where really it was hunters that brought back a lot of the species from, from extinction. Its members pump money into conservation and also into our local economy. 20,000 people are spending money on hotels, food and entertainment while they're here. We know from uh, the restaurant tours that we speak with in the community that they will fill up in uh, their, their restaurants for the week. Not everyone's happy about the Safari Club International, though. Protesters with Compassion Works International put up a billboard on Moana Lane, just a few blocks north of the convention center. It reads, Not Your Trophy. They're also planning a protest at the convention center Saturday as part of an anti-trophy hunting campaign being held worldwide. Covering Money Watch Live, Paul Nelson, 2 News.